Big TV. And today, we got our lid on the menu. Our lid on the menu. Y'all look at the lineup. Yeah, we got some bad ones out there. Some baddies. I ain't gonna do all that talk. First thing first, I want y'all to stop what y'all doing. Like this thing up. Scrape this thing up. Go subscribe to my channel. If you not, it's cool. Just continue to watch. I ain't mad. I ain't hating. Hey, tell me what you think about them jean boots. Tell me what you think about that red dress. I just want to say, I think Arlette need to find her somebody to pick up some clothes out of something. Because it ain't working. All right. So with that being said, let's go ahead and bring out our first single guy. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Dexter. How's Dexter? everyone doing? Oh, okay, ladies. Like, this is a good. Sound a little Super. choir. <laughs> Dexter, how old are you? 35. And what do you do? Um, my background's in social work, um, but I do work in education as a program manager, and I do mental health therapy as well. Very nice. Now, Dexter, what are some things you like to do for fun? Uh, I would say travel is like number one for me. Mm -hmm. um, I love traveling. Anytime I get an opportunity to go to the airport, that's like my number one thing right there. So nice. I definitely like to travel. Um, in addition to that, uh, content creation. I'm into content creation. So I just started a podcast not too long ago okay. on all things mental health. So um, definitely check that out if you get a chance. Love and um, my new thing has been bartending. Oh. Yeah, so I picked up uh, bartending as like a new gig after okay. I finished school a couple months ago. So I all like right. it. It's cool. Cool. It's cool. Now, what is now, I just want y'all to understand when you come on these TV shows, make sure you plug your company, your corporation. Especially if you're an entrepreneur like me. That is the whole purpose of this TV show. It's not to really come on here and find love. If you don't believe it, oh well. Continue. What things you look for in a woman? Um, I'm looking for my wife. You know, somebody with wife qualities. Um, definitely looking for one of God's daughters, for sure. Mm. Um, somebody that's kind, caring, nurturing. Um, somebody that likes to have fun, for sure. You know, somebody that I have a good time with. Someone that's family oriented. Mm. Yeah, that's really big for me. I have a big family, so I'm big on family for sure. Good. Yeah. Now, what are some deal breakers? Deal breakers. Um, someone that is not uh, is not a Christian. You know, mm -hmm. I am Christian, so I'm definitely big on that for sure. Um, yeah, somebody that's not family oriented. Um, I would say. In addition to that, you know, somebody that doesn't really like to have fun. You know, somebody that doesn't really know, you know, what it is that they want to do and okay. whatnot. Um, Somebody that feels like they're entitled to things. I don't like that. Somebody that's not humble. Um, yeah, so pretty right. much like the opposite of what I'm, what I'm looking for. Right. Yeah. He don't want an indecisive woman. He wants a woman that lives in her fem feminine. I, I fucked that word up. But you understand what I'm saying. Continue. <laughs> okay, well, we have not got any pop balloons yet. So we are going <laughs> to... He said thank you. <laughs> So we're going to actually switch it on over to you. So let me hand you a pic. Oh, boy. Let me have you hold on to that. All right. How many ladies do we have here? Eight. Okay. So first round, I'm going to have you pop. Mm, let's go with three balloons. Three Based balloons. off of what you're seeing, who doesn't really fall into your type, whatever it is, go ahead and pop those three balloons. Three balloons? Three of them. Mm -hmm. wow. Nothing personal, ladies. I don't even know y'all. Well, y'all look nice, though. Y'all look nice. Put in the comment section who bloom you popping right now. Stop what you doing. Put in the comment section who bloom you popping right now. Continue. Stop. Okay, two more. And one more. Okay, you can stay down there. We'll start Sorry. over there. All right, if we can start with your name and age. Janae, I'm 31. And Janae, what do you do? Um, so I'm in customer care, and then I also have a couple things I do on the side, like hair and things like that. Your hair is really cute. Thank you. <laughs> it is, it is. <laughs> All right, so Janae, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Um, he's very handsome, um, very well-dressed, so just was hearing what he had to say. I also like that he said um, he was family-oriented. All right, so Dexter, why did we end up popping her balloon? Um... It's a really tough decision, you know, having to pop three off the bat just like that. Uh, so, again, it's not personal. Just off the bat, um, very beautiful, but uh, just traction um, for me. It's 
um, I'm thinking of like a scenario of like if I were to walk up to somebody, like right. if I feel that inclination to do so, just didn't feel it at the moment. So. Okay. All right. He said, if I feel that inclination at the moment, he gonna walk up. Hey, say, Juke, I thought she was Japanese. Continue. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then let's go right over here. Your name and age? Australia, I'm 32. Okay. And Australia, what do you do? Um, I have a consulting firm. Okay, nice. Now, Australia, we did have you on the episode before, and you did end up matching. What happened with that match? He broke up with me. Hold up. What is a consulting firm? And she was on here before. Continue. Me the next day. <laughs> <laughs> it just didn't work out. Okay, okay. Religious beliefs. Okay, well, <laughs> yeah. Welcome back. Glad to have you. So why did you have your balloon unpopped for him? Uh, he's attractive. Okay. Mm -hmm. And a lot of things that he said as well. Nice. Family orientated, love to travel, that, those kind of things. Okay. okay. So okay. why did you end up popping hers? More along the same lines too. A uh, tough decision, but yeah. definitely want to hear from everyone, but just part of the game, you know. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Let's go over here. Let's start with your name and age. My name is Shanice and I'm 31. And Shanice, what do you do? I'm a registered nurse. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so why did you have your balloon unpopped for him? Um, I just wanted to hear what he had to say. I thought I think he's handsome, but also, I mean, I just wanted to hear it out. But yeah. I think I'm taller than him, and I usually like taller guys. So, oh, okay. yeah, Got just it. wanted to hear him out. Okay, yeah. sounds good. So, why do we end up popping her? Well, thank you for the chance. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, again, more along the same lines as well, too. Okay. Yeah. okay. We're very put together very well. All y'all. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank oh. you. All right. Oh, right here. Name and age? Jasmine. I'm 31. Okay. And Jasmine, what do you do? Um, I am a full-time dental hygiene student right now. Very nice. So why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, you are very well dressed, very handsome. Um, just a content creator. That's just not what I'm looking for. I just, I'm very private. Um, don't really have any like pictures on my social media. So I just, this is not my thing. Okay. 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 I respect it. <laughs> so now is Jasmine someone that's your type? Yeah, I would say so. I would, I would definitely walk up to Jasmine. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Thank you, Jasmine. Let's head on back. Okay, so we have four balloons left unpopped. Let's go ahead and ask these remaining ladies a question to help us narrow it down. Okay, all right. Um, start off with something light. Where are you from uh, and what do you do? Okay, yeah. start right here with your name and age. Uh, my name is Kanaya. I'm 26. I'm from Washington, D.C., and I'm a rapper. Oh, okay. <laughs> she got bars. Right, right. right. Oh, here <laughs> Let's okay. go on over here. Your name and age and answer this question. Hi, my name is Dina. I'm a realtor and I am 30 years old. I moved to Dallas four years ago, but I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. Oh, sorry to hear that from New York. So <laughs> what? I, I was born in New York. Oh, okay. Okay, right, so right, Brooklyn. Right. Okay. Just Yankees all day. You know, so, just saying. <laughs> Let's go over here. Your name and age. Hi, I'm Shay. I'm 27, and I'm from Mississippi, and I am an accountant. Okay. Mississippi, we in it, bitch. Turn up. To meet you. Sit down over here. Your name and age and answer this question. Hi, my name is Naila. I'm 24. I'm in the child care field, and I'm also starting my business in real estate. But, yeah, that's it. <laughs> and then you got where she's from? Oh, uh, yeah. No. I'm from Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yes. Okay. All right, thank you. Let's head on back. Okay, so you just got a little bit more information, so I am going to have you pop... All right, uh, who balloon you gonna pop? Who balloon you gonna pop? One, two, three, or number four? I ain't gonna lie, number four gotta go. She boring. Look at all that dress. That bit nice. What you think about that? Put in the comment section what you think about all that dress. You think it look like some spill paint? Or do you think it look good on them? I think it look good for it to be coming up to be Halloween, and that's the only time most people wear orange anyway, you know? Whatever, continue. One more balloon based off of what you've seen, what you've heard, whatever it is. Okay. I think I need a new Oh, you lost a pick? pick? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Let me hand you that. There I'll you make sure go. I keep this one. All right. <laughs> um, I have to pop this one. All right. So why did we have our balloon? I told you. She didn't know. What I tell y'all? Did I tell y'all that? Hey, man, don't get in my comments, Sasha, talking about I'm bullying. She just ain't my type. 
She ain't my type, bro. I like the color of that dress, but she's not my type. Continue. Balloon unpopped for him. Um, he's very well spoken, looks handsome, dressed well, seems clean. I didn't hear exactly where he said he's from, so I think I would have popped myself for that. <laughs> but everything else seemed pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. Got it. So I appreciate that. Way to end up popping hers. I would say more so age. Um, I'm 35. Uh, that's a little bit, a little bit below my age limit. But okay. Yeah. 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 It's a big deal for me. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Nice meeting. Nice meeting. Ooh. Okay, why did we end up popping our balloon? I'm so mad. I really didn't want to pop it, I swear. But I'm not a Christian. And I was trying to hold on. I wanted to, like, try to ask you a question and see if that was a deal breaker for you. Sure. But I actually really don't practice, like, any religion. Mm -hmm. I do believe in God, but I didn't want that to be, like, a thing. But I really didn't want to pop. No. I'm say she worships. Get on off the show. I'm just moving shit. But hey, whatever. Your belief is your belief. We're not gonna sit here and push nothing on you. You have old and forgot. You grown. You should understand what's going on. Come on now. Listen, I, <laughs> it's all good though. I appreciate you being honest though. Yeah. And respect I was that. trying to like hide it a little bit. But it came out at some point, but I appreciate the honesty for sure. Yeah. Okay. Honesty is big. Yeah. All right. So is she someone that's your type? Um, to be honest, I probably would not approach, okay. um, but uh, definitely respect what you got going on. So best of luck to you and everything. Thank you. Yeah. And why would you not approach? Um, honestly, chest tattoos, not really my thing, uh, per se. I don't got a problem with tattoos per se, but I think location is uh, everything to me too. But it's not a judgment of you or your character, but just preference. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay. We do have two ladies left. Let's go ahead and ask them another question. All right. Um, let's go with this. Okay, tell me how y'all feel about chest tattoos. Men, put in the comment section, how do you feel about a woman having a chest tattoo? Uh, women, how do you feel about men having chest tattoos? I think I know the answer to that, but put in the comment section right now how y'all feel about it. Do you feel like he feel? Or do you think he's not um secure in his masculinity because he don't? like those type of chips in his deal whatever continue you would make so before your man leaves for work or wherever he's going to start his day you're going to make sure that you do this before he leaves the house you would make sure that your man doesn't leave the house without you doing what for him mm. okay let's start right here so my family's watching the show <laughs> Um, two things. Um, I'm an affectionate person, so that's one thing. And then food. Like, I'm Haitian. I like to cook. Oh, my food's sac good. Sac it's a passe. <laughs> we don't eat cat and dogs. No, but. we don't. Okay. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> but yeah, um, just food and, you know, a little physical affection. Good loving. Yeah. Okay. All right. Some good loving, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about over here? Um, so I'll probably leave the house before him. So um, I would say reassurance. Um, so I'm always making sure that my man knows that I love you. I hope you have a good day. Um, as far as cooking wise, sometimes I don't have time for it. And, but I do like to cook. Okay. Um, but... I mean, that's not something on the top of my mind, you know, because I'm leaving the house around like 630. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. So it's not that's it's kind of like reassurance in that aspect. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. All right. Appreciate the answer. Thank you both. Ladies, any questions for him? Um, oh, yes. Let's go over here. Now, you emphasize I, I want someone that likes to have fun and likes to have fun. What's what do you what's fun to you? What do you like to do with your your woman that's fun. Yeah. Um, I'll say, like I said, the biggest thing for me, or one of the biggest things for me is traveling. So I do like to travel. Um, I do like exploring new, you know, locations, destinations or whatnot. Um, I'm very chill also. Like I can be a bit of a homebody. I do work a lot too. So I don't always get the luxury of getting to go out. Um, but every now and again, I do like to. Part of that would include like going out to eat, trying out new restaurants, new experiences. Um, I could be a little bit spontaneous in terms of, you know, experiences, uh, date night and all that stuff. So, yeah. um, okay. Music, dancing, all that. So, yeah. Much clarity. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions here? I do. Um, so how do you feel about kids? 
Um, I love kids. Uh, I have one myself. Uh, my son Elijah, he's six years old. Um, that's my boy. Mm-hmm. Uh, as far as dating somebody with kids, I do have limitations with that. Um, I do have a limit in terms of like multiple children. Um, it's not something that I have the capacity for. And children, like really young children, like under the age of like four. Like, okay. Yeah. Um, I have twins. Mm. They're nine. So I don't know how you feel about that. I know kids are a touchy subject. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're great. They're part of me. So I just sure want to know how you feel. Yeah, I'm sure they are. But yeah, m- multiple children, that's uh, it's a bit outside of my capacity for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so any further questions over here? Um, um, so you stated that you had a child that's mm-hmm. six years old. Correct. Um, how's your relationship with your um, child's mother? Yeah, it's a good relationship. It's really healthy. Um, we have a great co-parenting situation. You know, we're both there for him. We work very collaboratively. So we're in okay. a good space. Okay. So it's only it's strictly about the child. Strictly about the child. Yeah. Okay. Um, how are you guys high school sweethearts? How does that go? No, we met uh, shortly after college. Uh, we were actually married, but we were we got divorced um, officially last year. But. Sorry. She said, "I don't want that." Mm-mm. You were divorced, man. Man, I think I be doing too much sometimes when I'm shooting these videos, but whatever. That's all all that YouTube scribbling for y'all, man. Hey, continue. Okay, sorry. Yeah, that's all good. I get it. I asked that for a reason. Yeah, so. yeah. Okay. Okay. May I ask why? I'm just curious. Um, when it comes to, I, I guess from my experiences, I can't speak for everyone, but majority, when it comes to uh, when you're growing up with your partner, and you're, you stated you're 36, right? Five, yeah. Oh, 35. Yeah. So you were, what, maybe 20 years old, 21 years old when you guys yeah. met? That's mm-hmm. kind of a, a lengthy time, and I just feel as if it's going to take some time for you guys to um, depart from that type of uh relationship you guys have mentally because a divorce from last year I mean I mean we're in a new year I mean it's only what 360 days so I mean it's probably going to take some time that's in my mind you may say no it's not I don't really know you like that you don't know me but mentally I don't even want to be there you know I respect it yeah I mean there's definitely more context but that's not the platform isn't for that, but of we, course. yeah, we've been apart for a while, so it wasn't just like the year. Um, so it took some time to get to that point, but yeah, mm-hmm. but I respect it though. Thank you for your honesty. Of course, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. YouTube, put in the comments section. How do you feel about her? She is an animated individual. Yes or no? She has a lot of personality. Yes or no? Not to Mississippi, man. So you want them coming like that? Out? Yeah. Yeah, that's how we coming. Yeah. Continue. All right. Well, unfortunately, that is all the balloons popped. We do thank you for coming on. Let's give it up for him, ladies. I'll take that mic. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nah, for real, though. That's not how all of them come, but you know what's going on.